Hi, it's Debbie from My Vagabond Style, and I'm back with week number 26 of the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Planner Challenge. If you'd like to see what other people are doing, search the hashtag 2023CWP26 for this week, or just hashtag 2023CWP, and it'll bring up random weeks. Uh, so this is a prompt challenge, and we, from Marguerite Miller, I bought her planner. Um, I think next time I'll probably just buy the prompts. This time I brought the planner thinking I would use it, but I really have like my old school date planner. This is kind of handy when I'm like planning it out. Um, I usually write the date that it's going to air because a lot of times I get the prompts ahead of time. And then I use these squares down here for kind of my thoughts of what I might use for each prompt. Uh, so this week have a little story with this one so I'm going to read you the prompts first. Uh, rubber stamping uh, in two colors, a hexagon, a face, a set of numbers, text in a different alphabet, and a tall building. So um, I am limited right now with my my big inventory of really cool images that I have back in the States. Down here, I'm in Mexico for uh, part of the year, and here I don't have access to everything, so um, I just make do. I'm so happy I'm going to be going to the States to see my dad and pick up the eBay orders of new, fresh, vintage, new, fresh, vintage <laughs> uh, images. So anyway, let me um, go through this a little bit here, and I'll kind of introduce you to my, my story. This is Svetlana. <laughs> I got her out, the, out of the awesome Simplicity magazine that my friend Chris gave me, and there is a link below a video on the flip through of this awesome magazine. So uh, Svetlana Putin is her name, and I chose the last name of Putin because I looked up the meaning of it, and it means that someone belonging to the road. So, like, she's definitely a go-getter. She's not letting anything hold her back. I mean, right? Would you want to mess with her? I don't think so. So, uh, Svetlana is from Russia. As far as text in a different alphabet, that would be this. It's Russian, so we're going to go with that. We'll use that in the background somehow. And so she has made it to New York. So when I was saying I don't have my images, like this was from the watercolor pad that I had because I thought it was a great city image. Yeah, I really like that. So I'll, I'll put that in the background. And she is in New York living life and um so let's see what else we have that that will be my she's my face my alphabet the tall buildings <clears throat> and then we're also going to work in a set of numbers so a set of numbers we can either use something from her luggage tag there's some numbers on here they're very hard to see but there are numbers um, from some of the places she's been. Uh, this is from a train ride. Then there's some theater tickets here. There's actually some money, which would have numbers on it too. I have all kinds of little tiny things that we can work in somehow. Then I also am going to add in because her story is, you know, she didn't forget about her village back in Russia and her family. She was raised by her dad and her three brothers. So we'll work that in. <laughs> so that might be why she has this tough appearance because she was raised by her dad and her three brothers. But um, she really does have a soft side and she carries this picture with her everywhere. So we will work in the family. I I'm going to go ahead and skip the hexagon, I think, and then we'll do some rubber stamping to get the two colors in. So let's try to figure this out. 
On this one, I did no pre-cutting. I am going to cut her out, so I will be right back. Anyway, while I am cutting this out, I do think that I will um, just chat a little bit with you. I was thinking the other day as I was looking at my analytics on uh, YouTube, the um, amount of watch hours that I had, and I was like really taken back that it's so cool to think that you guys are spending that much time with me. Like, you know, life is precious and I do appreciate you uh, taking the time to, to watch what I do and make comments and sub to my channel. It's just very sweet to know that you guys are out there and that you enjoy what I do. So thank you. Just wanted to say that. Okay, we've almost got her all the way cut out. Although I do want to cut this part out right here too. Isn't that a fabulous outfit? Oh my gosh, it's so fancy. I know it's a pretty big image, but she's a big personality. So, let me we're going to do this. I kind of want to maybe tear that header off there. And I do like that ripped edge. This I think I'm just going to cut down with the edges here that it has. I tried to take some of the, you know how like um, on like Kleenex boxes you can peel back and make it a little bit thinner paper from what it was. So I tried to peel some of this off, but it really wasn't happening. We're just gonna go with this. It's not really that much thicker than a heavy cardstock, so. Maybe I can get some of that off the back after I get this off here. I'm not sure. It's not really coming off, so I'm just going to leave it. It'll be fine. We can maybe put this in the background somehow. I do kind of want it up higher because I think we'll see more of it. Maybe I could just kind of um, collage this somewhat in the back. I think I'm going to collage down some of this. Okay, so let's get this uh, down here. I'm kind of bummed that I can't see that right there. I might go back and add just a little bit here. I don't know. Maybe the picture will cover that up. I just kind of want this to be like, she still has her hometown, her village, like in the back of her mind still. So maybe it's just behind her, but still with her. So we'll just maybe put that right there. I am going to go look real quick for some more vintage paper. I should have ripped off the edge of this, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm glad I brought more stuff from back in the States than what I thought I might need, but uh, this will be great to have a little bit more on here, I think. I don't know if it'll get covered up, but it just makes me feel better that I could actually see some of that text. Oops, sorry about that. I just knocked the camera. All right, I'll, we'll put that right there. Let's 
So I am going to maybe find some stamps that I want to put in the background here too. Oh, I like her with the city behind her. She looks pretty good, huh? So let me go look for a stamp. I'll be right back. In my stash, um, I have kept these in bags, but they've been sitting here for like six months, not used. I don't know if they're dried up or if they're okay. So we'll have to see how they are. Um, I've got these leaves that kind of might, you know, a little one in the back might be okay. So let me try that. These I got off of Timu. Let's see how they are. They're always stuck on so hard the first time. I'm always afraid I'm going to rip them. Again, working in that tiny little area for some reason. <laughs> And I've got a clear block here. Let's just see if this has any ink. It might be perfect because it's probably pretty faint. Oh yeah. Put a little back behind here. Can barely see it, but that's okay. We'll go a different way. I really like that color. It's a ranger. Leaf green, oh, perfect. Okay, so that's a stamp of one color. And I kind of like it a little bit on the higher side. We'll cut off some of the sky. Maybe I'll cut right about here to the top of that building there. Just a hint of her home. And I'm gonna make a little mark here so I know where I want it because I want it to be on the bottom layer. I do that a lot. I kind of, if I figure out where I want something, I will go ahead and make a little mark on the paper as a little guide. Right, so we've got some of that on there. I think I'm gonna put a little glitter glue around the edge just because this is pretty thick. Okay, let's get that back to that little spot. All right, and I feel like I could go ahead and put this down now. So let's put that. This, hmm, I know I'm going to want something better than the glue stick on this, so we will do the glitter glue. I probably should even go ahead and break out the, uh, what is it, the Fabri-Tac, but I think I'll just go with this and hope for the best. So this is making me look outside the box now when I don't have as much to pull from from my images, which is okay. All right, I get her. And let me find her little goodies that I wanted to tuck in her hand. Okay, so the set of numbers and here's the picture of a family. 
I kind of wanted it in her hand, but maybe we can just put them right here. Like, I want them all. And I do need to cut right here so that I can slide something in her hand, whether it's money, because she's very successful. <laughs> the money's about the right size. I don't know. Um, let me get my exacto. And we'll just make a little cut here. Definitely a set of numbers on there. Oh my gosh, the money fits perfect. <laughs> there we go. So she's got her little village behind her. I think I'm going to go ahead and also put that luggage tag back there. Maybe this could just kind of be the area where she's done a lot of things. Just kind of collage that whole back. And this actually has a red stamp on it. So I can put that behind there. I don't know, it might, might look a little bit cluttered with all of that. but I could probably just go ahead and get this one tag back here with the red stamp to meet the requirements. <laughs> I can't have everything. I wanted those taxis in there, but maybe if I pull her down just a little bit here. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this down here making a decision. Sometimes you just sit on it just a little too long, overthink it. Not good. All right. I haven't even like glued those in there and she's, Svetlana is hanging on to that cash, let me tell you. All right, so you kind of get the taxi right there in the back when I do this. Although I think it's a little more balanced when I have her up higher. But we're going to go with this. Okay, I'm going to put these guys right here. I am only going to tack them down just in case I need to move them. I'll go back and put a little glitter glue on them afterwards. Okay, dad and the boys right there. We're going to get this money in her hands, her hand. Hey, Svetlana, you're looking good, girl. You're looking good. All right, I'm going to give them a tack here because I feel comfortable. Now I will put her down on here. And she's pretty brittle because of the age, 1958. But we will be very careful. Uh, all of this isn't going to be on here. I just don't know where. Ooh. Yeah, see what I mean? I just crunched that. All right, I'm just gonna not, I'm gonna wait on her arm. Oh shoot! Okay.
okay, very careful, very careful. I said I was going to wait on her arm, and I didn't. Okay. Let's get her on here. Come on, girl. Let's see. If that goes back behind there. You might not notice it. Okay. Okay, she's in a good spot now. And I'm just going to cut this off and glue this down here, and I will be right back. I'm going to go ahead and add on, I think, this part of this ticket as another set of numbers right up here. from a show that she went to on Broadway. There we go. Okay, so Svetlana Putin, someone belonging to the road. Here she is. We'll go over the prompts, a rubber stamp in two colors. So we've got this, and then we've got this red right here. Um, I didn't do the hexagon. Instead, I did the tall buildings. And then a face, which is... Svetlana, and a set of numbers. There's quite a few different sets of numbers here. And text in a different alphabet is her Russian language in the back. I hope you enjoyed this, and I really did enjoy the story of Svetlana. I hope you did, and her family. So uh, thank you so much for watching and coming back. And if you're new, thank you for popping in and seeing what's going on here. And I will catch you next time. Bye.